welcome to the Autosports Show 2012. In the night, you are going to come across a lot of drivers who are weaving from one side of the road to the other, so they're just trying to find their way. We'll find a little bit more about that during the race, but first of all, I'd like to welcome Alana Franz from uh, Grand Am. Um, Alana's obviously one of the key movers in the, the whole Grand Am project. As a racing driver, I know it's completely different from what I've been doing from, uh, from Formula 3. I was used to see the wheels in front of the car, and uh, now I'm in a prototype. You can you need to judge where you're going, so I had a really warm welcome in America. I was very pleased to, to be Welcome in that way. I just just want to give uh, everyone that information that it's, it's a great opportunity, it's a new experience, you know, it's a, it's a fantastic event to be part of it. Obviously not used to, it's, it's very, very different to, to what I usually race, obviously having raced in the uh, F3 Cup this year. So obviously it's the 50th anniversary this year which um, is quite big and it's, uh, that's actually a real nice cherry on the cake um, to be competing at that event because I'm sure it'll be extra special for that. You know when you come to that first corner 165 braking down a couple of gears and it's moving around and you're thinking this really doesn't feel bolted and all of a sudden you've stopped and it's like wow what a feeling um, and the banking as well you come up to it the first lap and it's like somebody just rotates your world. We've got so much momentum built up. We've got a lot of fabulous drivers that are now going to be participating for this upcoming event, new manufacturers that are on board. Obviously, we're pleased with Motors TV now going ahead and actually doing live coverage of our races. So for us, it's just on the upswing, yeah. Historical must do the opener to the season, the first thing you did if you... Grand Am are doing a great job. Uh, good platform, good for drivers who are young, who want to try and get a sports car career started good for gentlemen drivers who want to you know operate at the highest levels great circuits good championship equalize make sure that you're competitive gives you a chance so overall I think they've got some big things ahead of them maybe you'll recall uh, what Blundell's lap time was I'm sure since it was only a couple of weeks ago you'll recall what Philippe Nazar's uh, lap time was <laughs> could you give us both those figures uh, not off the top of my head, I don't want to take that. Ah, uh, yeah, chicken. Mr. Blundell, obviously, I've uh, seen him race in a lot of different categories, including Group C in the past and IndyCar here, and he is certainly more than confident in what he has maybe lost a little bit in age. He's gained in experience and smart. And Mr. Nasser and, and the younger generation uh, should take heed to the fact that fast is good, but you got to be smart and you got to be thinking about what you're doing in this event in any event, but you got to do it longer and more often for this, so there's still a lot to learn in your first time, but those, those boys are pretty good and they'll do just fine. Um, thank you, Mark. <laughs> I'll send a check in the post. Uh, yeah, no, no, just talking about it, I mean, he does have a weight advantage. You know? <laughs> It's carnage. It's, it's a lot of fun, but it's very busy. The track's just changing every lap. A long time I don't drive go karts, so it's good fun to be here. I know it means a charity, but for drivers, we always come here to grab some fun. It's, it's a great experience. Thank you very much, uh, all of you, for coming to this champagne toast to celebrate the 50th anniversary of the Rolex 24-hour race.
and of course you're also celebrating the third year of the Sunoco Daytona Challenge. We have the two previous winners, Derek Johnson, uh, Ross Kaiser and Felipe. We also have added this year the Sunoco Grand Am Challenge where we have a very very good winner in um, Aaron Steen who uh, won the MSV F3 Cup. I, I was in the audience yesterday at the Grand Am launch and I, I watch your face when they suggested there are 85 starters on the grid. Have you any comment? Bring it on. Has everyone seen the announcement about Motors TV this year? Raise your hand. Yeah. Is that a wonderful thing or not? Yes. Very good. So uh, th that's a great addition. A lot of live hours for not only the Rolex 24, but also the Rolex series. Uh, NASA will be able to be watched by you who have seen them all season long as a champion here. And we're looking forward to the, the growth that that will bring it. And I'm not sure about the next 50 years for me, but at least a few more decades. So. We'll be going out there early in the week before the race. Um, I think we go out on the Tuesday. The race is on the Friday, so it gives you a couple of days to acclimatise and you know settle back into that body clock, which is actually all right when you go there, but when you come back, it's not so good. I just cannot really wait to get there. And, um, well, we're going to be racing against the top drivers over there, so it will be fun. You know, it's a long. At least we got. 24 hours to enjoy that.